so today I'm gonna read a prelog called Harmony. Oh, all this talk about harmony, harmony in this world will lead to more harm only. Just a stupid attempt to unite against higher or divine. Wow, that is absolutely right. It really is a, a way to, you know, go against the higher because beings like, um, you know, all over the world, they they say, oh, we need we need um, we need to be harmonious with with the earth, or we need to be in harmony with each other, and we need to be in harmony with ourselves. But they have no concept or no like inkling of how to actually do that and what actions they need to take to actually be harmonious. And if they don't bring divine, or if they don't bring P into the picture. Like it's automatically they're gonna like just go downhill hill from there because they have like no basis or no concept of what real um, harmony is and like P said in this P log it's only they're only gonna um, it's only gonna going to lead to more harm only and that's absolutely right like one didn't even see harmony in this perspective and it's beautiful how P is able to look at like different words and look at um, things that beings are doing and see like the overall situation of you know how beings are looking at things because like um like P is like in always in like a harmonious state like he's always um he's always like balanced he's always like at peace he's always like in this blissful state and that's like real harmony but when beings try to do it on their own when they try to you know, try to become harmonious on their own without have without having any idea of what harmony actually is. Then they only just cause more harm to themselves, and then they cause more harm harm to others as well. Which is why I love how P actually um, he stresses that beings should actually you know do the work first and actually seek out a being who is who knows who actually um, you know. Um, embodies all of these divine qualities you know like righteousness and a being who is like harmonious and a being who is there's all of these things that beings want to be and they try to be but they don't but they don't actually seek out divine to actually learn how to become those things they just want to do things on their own and beings actually say out of their you know out of their own mouths that they don't need anyone you know god is within and they can just look within and learn how to be harmonious or learn how to be, um, you know, balanced or any kind of, um, like any kind of divine quality that they want to obtain without even knowing like how to, without even knowing like the right actions of how to do that. And before meeting P, like one was honestly try to, trying to do that on one's own and it just led to harmony, like how he said, like one was trying to find a way to actually you know develop these qualities like being respectful and being harmonious with nature and you know having self-respect and just trying to you know um to gain all of these qualities that one first didn't even know what they meant and and how to actually you know become like to um embody those things and when one came across p it was like a huge like weight off of one's shoulders to actually come across a being who 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 you can see obviously has like all of these divine qualities that one was able to see at that time and what one w wasn't able to see at that time and when beings put more and more attention on p they can actually see that he is filled with all of these different divine qualities and he actually is like uh he, he actually embodies all of the you know the god and goddesses that are taught in the in the Vedic uh, teachings and yeah it's it's crazy that beings are trying to you know say we need to all come together in harmony but they're all you know they're they're all eating meat which causes like all this hellishness and pain and all of these um, byproducts of 
of um, like hell, pain, and torture, and you know, beings are trying to uh, to f find things out on their own with their you know, and their ego is in the mix as well. So it just doesn't make any sense, and it's just like counterproductive, and like it just shows that if any being tries to do anything without um, without divine guidance, then they would actually just put more harm on themselves and more harm on other beings as well, which would just lead to what's happening right now, which is beings are following all these people who think that they know what, you know, what the solutions are and how, how to solve all of these issues that are in the world. But it's just like the easiest thing that beings have to do is just, you know, put their ego, ego aside and just surrender to the higher because that's all you can do like you're it's it's more than just saying okay i'm just going to surrender to the divine it's it's more than just more than just that you're actually just um surrendering your whole being to that which is truth and which is divine and like if you just take that all take it all in you would actually see like your whole life change and like this whole like this big weight lifted off your shoulders like you don't have to you know, spend all your time, you know, day and night stressing over, or is stressing over um, about the fact that, like, you know, about things like, um, like, is this the truth or is this not the truth? Am I falling into this trap or am I falling into that trap? You don't have to worry about those things. You just have to put your attention towards a being who is completely out of this matrix, and then that would, you know, automatically lead you out of the matrix as well. So, yeah. Thank you.